Hello, this is Gail with New Med Concepts, and today we are going to be talking about the Image MD products. So, very exciting news the Image MD has just been open to all professional estheticians uh, in the spa industry. So, before it was only allowed in medical offices with those that had a physician license, but Image has opened that up so that it's available to all professional licensed estheticians as well. So very exciting news, and we're going to review the products today. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. All right. So the Image MD collection. This is my contact information. So if anyone has any questions, needs any assistance, um, you know, I'm here to help you. I, I love to help you be successful. That's what I'm here for. So please reach out to me and uh, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. So just a little bit of an overview of the aging process. I think this will help in just laying down the groundwork. I know that you're all very skilled and well-versed in this, but just a little bit of laying down the groundwork so that you understand um, how to maybe present this to your clients as well. So the aging process. Youthful skin, obviously it's nice and tight. It has strong elastin fibers. The collagen is thick and dense. It has a very smooth texture and a nice even skin tone. And as we age, those elastin fibers start to break down. We have the collagen degradation. The skin's a little bit more rough texture. And of course, we start seeing that unevenness, uneven tone in the skin, and then sometimes even the hyperpigmentation uh, spots. So what causes the skin to age? There's two main factors. We have the intrinsic aging and the extrinsic aging. With the intrinsic aging, this is quite interesting because for a long time, for many years, we thought that, okay, if that's in your genes, in your DNA, that's your heritage, um, you're kind of stuck with it. But the good news is that we are now discovering that there's many things that are actually alternating the DNA. So we can actually um, reverse some of those signs of aging by, um, by some of the things that we do to become more healthy, like with your diet, exercise, nutrition, all of these things that we're, we're learning can actually alter the DNA. And so it's, it's not the death sentence it used to be um, with some of the genetic coding. And that's called epigenics. So very exciting field in epigenics and learning how we can adjust and change our DNA. But chronological aging, um, approximately that, that is about 10 to 20% of the aging process. And it's very difficult con to control, but I don't believe that. I believe that it's actually easier than we think. And that's what we're discovering with epigenics, how we can change, uh, change that process. The extrinsic aging is the environment. So what's happening, you know, we're bombarded every day by free radical damage. We have stressors, pollution, photo damage from the sun. And all of those extrinsic factors are about 80 to 90% of the aging process. And we can also in control these by lifestyle and habits. UV and IRA exposure, the infrared rays and the UV rays can alter the expressions of the genes and they, it breaks down collagen and elastin. And it can also contribute to certain types of cancer. But the IRAs, the infrared rays are estimated to represent up to 50% of solar radiation which is capable of deep skin penetration. So that's the one that actually causes the lines and wrinkles and the breaking down of collagen is deep within the skin. 
and the UVB, B for burning rays, and that's what gives, stimulates the uh, melanocytes to produce pigment. We're all very familiar with free radical damage. I know that uh, most of you understand antioxidants and how important they are, but we're constantly bombarded every day with free radical damage. It's an unstable molecule that can damage the cells in the body. Uh, the cells tend to lose the ability to fight and it affects uh, the effects of, of the free radical damage. For an example, your collagen gets weaker with free radical exposure and as a result gets more wrinkles. So that's why our antioxidants are so important to combat this. Enzymes, there are certain enzymes that also break the skin down, collagenase, that's a key collagen degrading enzyme also called matrix metal to protease, MMPs for short, and that's considered to be one of the central causes of skin aging. Elastase is another one that is breaking down the elasticity in the skin and curling the elastic fibers in the dermis. Hyaluronidase breaks down collagen and hyaluronic acid in the skin and that destroys our natural hyaluronic acid and stops it from binding with collagen and elastin molecules, resulting in premature aging and sagging. Glycation, this is another big one. When there's too much sugar in the body, the protein molecules can cross-link with the sugar molecules. And once the cross-linking process has occurred, the new sugar proteins called advanced glycation end products, or AGES for short. The human body does not recognize AGES as normal, and it will produce antibodies that cause inflammation in the skin. So once formed, AGES tend to gravitate towards dermal collagen and elastin that cause premature aging. That creepiness in the skin, we see that. Hyperpigmentation, this is another tough one. You know, understanding hyperpigmentation, uh, that, that whole process of melanogenesis. This is where uh, the tyranase enzyme helps to inhibit, or we, we want to inhibit the tyranase enzyme because the tyranase enzyme actually stimulates the melanocytes. So when the sun hits the skin, it stimulates this enzyme that in turn helps to stimulate the melanocytes to start dumping melanin. And that's where we get it dumping in certain spots more than others. And that's where you get the discoloration and patchy areas or little brown spots. Uh, so this is an, another key for aging. We can really take off about 10 years off of the way someone looks by evening out the skin. So just that nice, even, overall even complexion can make you look years younger. So this is a real important one for estheticians. Here it breaks, breaks it down a little bit more, the glycation and the melanocytes. The melanocytes lose their ability to distribute pigment evenly as the skin becomes increasingly more cross-linked with sugars. So as you can see in this little diagram, the sun penetrating the skin, stimulating the skin cells and the melanocytes to produce melanin, and you end up with little dark spots or freckles on the skin. So the science and the health of skin. So we're just gonna kind of review some of the science behind the MD products. So the CPN system, a lot of you are familiar with the CPN system because of the MAX line. We talked a lot about that in the MAX line, how it's composed of three important steps, correcting, so you have your correction, prevention, and nutrition. In the correction, we have powerful AHAs, retinol derivatives, brightening agents, and collagen support peptides that help stimulate cell, cellular turnover and rejuvenate the skin. And the prevention, in the way of plant-derived stem cells, stabilized forms of vitamin C, and sun protection help to reduce the effects of the environmental damage. And then of course, nutrition. You know, we have just a, a plethora of 
potent botanicals and plant extracts, nourishing and revitalizing the skin. So along with this new technology, what's really important is the delivery system. So you could have all of these incredible, great ingredients, but if they're just sitting on the surface of the skin and they're not penetrating, they're not doing a whole heck of a lot of good. Now, of course, we want some of the molecules to stay closer to the surface for a reason. Maybe that we're, we're staying closer to the surface to help with transepidermal water loss and some of the antioxidants um, on the surface of the skin to prevent the, the uh, free radical damage. But some ingredients we want to really penetrate very deeply. And like in the case of uh, the tyranase inhibitors, you know, your skin brightening agents, helping to get deeper into the skin where the melanocytes are would be more beneficial than sitting on the surface. So delivery systems are super important. And let's take a look at some of the different delivery systems. So there's different factors that affect the delivery into the skin of ingredients. We're looking at concentration. Concentration is really important. The higher the concentration of an active ingredient, the more the skin will try and absorb it. Another factor to consider is the pH. The lower the pH of a product, the deeper the product will travel into the skin. And I know you know this because it's very simple. We just look at our peels. When we're doing chemical peels, the lower that pH is, the deeper that's going into the skin. And it's the same with our skincare products too. They all have various levels of pH. Uh, some we want to stay a little bit more neutral. Some we want to be a little bit deeper. The molecular size and weight, of course, that's also a big factor. The molecules or ingredients are too large to penetrate the skin. That'll simply sit on the skin longer and more, on, more towards the surface. The characteristics of ingredients. You also have water-soluble ingredients or lipid-soluble ingredients, and those also influence the amount of actives that can be absorbed through the skin. And there's three main forms of or mechanisms, I should say, of delivering the ingredients into the skin. You have transcellular. So active ingredients must penetrate from cell to cell in order to reach the deeper layers of skin. Transepigenial, which is active ingredients utilizing other openings, such as sweat glands or sebaceous glands, such as hair follicles. So you, we see this a lot. It's very uh, common when you're using like your salicylic acids, other ingredients that are fat soluble. They'll, that's why they work so much better on an oilier skin because they're, they're getting down into the, uh, the sebaceous glands and helping to regulate the oils in the gland. Intercellular, that's when you have active ingredients traveling in between the keratinocytes into the deeper layers of skin. So an example of that would be like a glycolic acid that works on this intercellular cement, so to speak, um, going in between each one of the cells and softening those keratolytic bonds so that whatever we apply next can really penetrate or the ingredient itself helps to get down in between those cells much easier. So some of the ingredients that you're going to find, and, and a lot of these are trademarked ingredients, but this MS concentrate is also, you'll, you'll hear image referring to this as skin mimicking. So this skin mimicking ingredient, it's a unique blend of ingredients that allows actives to optimally absorb by the skin due to the mimicking of the natural skin matrix not only by composition, but also in its structure and fulfilling the skin's most important functions. So this helps to break that down a little bit easier. In the center here, you'll see in this picture, this photo, 
is of the natural skin matrix. And this is after you've put a common cream, a moisturizer on the skin, what that looks like. So it's all kind of, you know, balled up in little, little balls all over the skin, various different sizes. It's not nice and uniform. But with this MS concentrate, it's able to spread out the ingredients and make it very skin-like. So it, it matches this natural skin matrix. And it's restoring the, and strengthening the skin's natural protective barrier, its protection against free radical damage and, and premature aging, and it increases skin elasticity and hydration. The total wrinkle therapy complex. This is a combination of peptides and penetration. So we're, we're using those delivery systems that, that was developed to provide a strong, broad spectrum anti-aging benefits by combining peptides technology with it, with an advanced biotech penetration system. This breaks it down a little bit more so you can see what this peptide technology that we're talking about is. So peptide technology with advanced delivery. So that's one of the um, keywords that you could use is when you're talking about the MD and how is that different from the image spa products. So it's, it really has a lot to do with the delivery system because in some cases you're going to see that a lot of the ingredients are very similar and I'll mention that as we go through the products, but what defines it is really this delivery system. And with that, you're going to have higher, more active concentrations, and you're going to have um, higher percentage and that's being absorbed into the skin. So it's, it's going to be uh, on another level. But this yeast fractional penetration system can actually increase product penetration by about 53%. So that's a proprietary penetrating enhancing system that allows both water soluble and lipid soluble ingredients to absorb much more effectively. The Palmitol Tripeptide 5, that's a tripeptide with a unique sequence and small molecular weight. So it helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and increases the firmness and elasticity. The dipeptide helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So they're all used together. Here you have the Syncol, and you'll probably see this name here, the Palmitol Tripeptide 5. You'll see that used probably more often in the product ingredient list than Syncol, but the, that's basically the same thing. So this tripeptide has a unique sequence and a very small molecular weight. And you can see here in the before and after pictures, you have deeper rhydids here, a little bit of crepiness. And then down through here, you can see after 12 weeks that it's really smoothed out. And I, and I love this part right here too, because this crepiness, the sagginess, smoothing that out, that's not easy to do. So this is a big one for really improving elasticity and, and the collagen in the skin. So collagen type one, along with uh, firmness and improving elasticity. Snake, this is another fun one. We always love to say that it has snakes, but we don't actually kill any snakes. Um, this comes from the temper viper venom, but it's uh, formulated in the lab, so we don't have to uh, kill any snakes. But this is what helps give you that Botox-like effect. So you can see in the diagram here on the right that you've got receptors. You have the neurotransmitters and the, um, the, acetyl, uh, the acetylcholine, I'm sorry, the acetylcholine receptor. So in this picture here, Typically what would happen was these little receptors are released, the acetylcholine is released, and then it goes through, it opens up this little pathway, where you can see the diagram with the arrow through with this little pathway to go through, and that 
causes the muscle to contract. And with this dipeptide, what it's doing is it's affecting this acetylcholine receptor and it helps to close this and it stays closed. So now when it's called upon to constrict the muscle, it's not happening. So now this isn't gonna be like an injection where you know, you're literally paralyzing the muscle. And this is working though on the neurotransmitters and it does help to decrease that muscle contraction. Uh, so it does give this really beautiful smoothing out. So it's not as apparent, it smooths out those lines and wrinkles. So in summary, this significantly decreases roughness and wrinkling for smoother, more moisturized skin. It increases firmness that gives a lifting effect and it refines the appearance of visible pores. Now, Image has also done something really nice with encapsulating their retinol. Because as you know, a lot of times people use retinol and it's very harsh, it's, your skin looks red, it looks flaky peely, looks like you've been out at sea for six months. Uh, so that's not a good look. But when we've encapsulated the retinol, it, it has a, a beautiful effect on the skin. It's much easier to penetrate, um, it's much more bio-friendly to the skin. Your clients don't get that redness, flaking and peeling like they would with a typical retinol. So this is multi-layered, say this is your retinol sphere, and then it's encapsulated in lipids or fats, lipids. And the sphere has the ability to deliver ingredients more quickly into the skin with a longer lasting effect, as well as offering enhanced stability to the active for incredible results. So as you can see here, when it's applied to the skin, it's in an ultra thin uniform film that ensures optimal coverage. And, and then, let me just go to the next side. So you've got a nice uniform coverage to the skin. We're laying it down onto the skin. And here you can see as it's laid down onto the skin, you have all these little, these are all the little chem spheres, the encapsulated retinol. But now you have this on the surface and it's actually helping to reduce trans epidermal water loss. So when the water is trying to escape, it can't, it's staying nice and plump and hydrated in your skin. So now when the cells are nice and plump, we all know that everything works better when you have enough water in your system. So when there's enough water in your skin, it's helping to push open these pathways in between the cells and make them nice and plump so that now these retinol, encapsulated retinol can flow freely down into the skin. As they're melting, they'll melt down into the skin much easier. And we see that here in this slide. See how the chem spheres encapsulated retinol are melting into the skin. It's leaving this nice barrier on the surface, melting down in between the cells. So now you've got this active product penetration deeply, deeper into the skin. Now you have higher amounts of epidermal lipids and you're going to have a more controlled release in the skin, so it's more time released in a sense. So you're gonna get better results. So the higher percentage of encapsulated spheres with stronger, the stronger the retinol effect and the longer the retinol stays active in the skin. So because of this, we can actually use lower percentages of retinol, but yet you're getting the same result. It doesn't have to be so harsh on the skin we're still able to get that same beautiful result with, with something that's not as harsh. Some of the other things that have been added with the MD are the marine filling spheres. So these are dehydrated microspheres of marine collagen and glycosaminoglycans that have the capacity to rehydrate and plump when they come in contact with water in the skin. 
So here's a nice little diagram. I love this because it's a great way to really see how this works. You've got these dehydrated marine spheres. It's uh, marine-based collagen that goes into the skin and it's absorbing the hyaluronic acid in the skin and it's plumping the skin up. So now it's literally really smoothing out those lines and wrinkles. Uh, you'll see this in the lip enhancement, really helping to plump. That's where we get this incredible plumpness in the lips or in lines and wrinkles on the face. You're helping to smooth those out. And the hydrating spheres dissolve and they deliver water back into the skin. So it's not just robbing the skin of, of, uh, of water, it's actually putting it back equally back into the skin. So here's the MD line, beautiful line of skincare products, very simple, very clean. You're gonna love this because it is so simple. And honestly, to me, this is like taking all the lines within the skincare, the, all the different collections that Image has in the spa line, and taking those core elements and pulling them all together in the MD line. So it's like a concentration of all of those ingredients in one. Now, I love the kit. The kit is super easy, and the kit should be recommended for just about everybody. Now, this can be used for a prep. This is actually the perfect prep. So instead of trying to pull all these different kinds of products and uh, to get somebody prepped for a chemical peel or laser treatment or surgery uh, or whatever they might be doing, uh, this is the, the ideal prep. It has everything that you need to prep the skin for those peels. You've got your cleanser, and we're gonna break these all down too a little bit more but you have your cleanser. So this is a combination of AHAs and BHAs. You have your serum, and this has got your stem cells and your antioxidants and your peptides. And then your nighttime repair cream would also have your retinols in it and your lightening agents. And then of course you have your sunscreen, your moisturizer sunscreen, it's all in one. So Three easy steps in the morning, cleanse, use your serum and your sunscreen, and then actually only two steps at night where you got your cleanser and then your repair cream. So that is bare bones minimum, that is your pillar. No matter what skin condition you have, this would be excellent for just about everyone to start out with, that's, that's your core. So let's break that down a little bit further. Your AHA, BHA cleanser is composed of glycolic, lactic, and salicylic. It also has B vitamins in it to hydrate and calm the skin and lots of antioxidants in the form of green tea. Excellent for removing makeup. And um, one little tip though too, if you do have dry skin, you're probably gonna want to alternate you're probably gonna to want to pull another cleanser for the morning, like your Vital C or Medic, um, whatever you feel, something without your AHAs and your BHAs in it. Um, this might be a little bit too much on some skins or especially in the beginning while they're getting acclimated to the line, especially if they're not used to potent, good quality skincare products. So, on an oily skin, a thicker skin, morning and night, not an issue. On a more sensitive skin, you're probably going to want to have an alternative cleanser with this as well. But this is an amazing cleanser. It feels fantastic, it smells fantastic, it's super fresh. Um, this is my go-to cleanser. So at night, I'm, I'm always using this type of cleanser. The Youth Restoring Serum. This would be applied after your cleanser. So this would be the, in the morning. You would apply it's a concentrated blend of peptides, plant-derived stem cells, and that helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, leaving the skin firmer and more elastic. That improves the overall uh, look and tone of the skin too. So you are getting some um, helping to even out the complexion with all the different forms of vitamin C that's in there. There you've got your three different forms of vitamin C, 
oil soluble and water soluble. Your palmitate, I'm, I'm sorry, palmitol tripeptide 7. That also is a specialized biomimicking peptide that supports collagen and elastin fibers in the skin, resulting in a visibly plumping effect. You have your uh, Malus domestica fruit extract. In other words, put it simply, that's your apple stem cells that nourish the skin. So beautiful serum. It's very light. It just disappears into the skin. Everyone loves it. It's just a, a very clean scent. With the MD line, you, you know, Image has a lot of scents. And, and quite honestly, I think, I forgot, I think it's the latest statistic that I looked at on why people buy 80% of the reason why they buy a product is the way that it smells. So that's why our Vital C is the number one selling product. It's, it's the way that it smells. And most people on the planet are attracted to and like the scent of citrus. So that's why that's a huge seller. This is very different. It's just very fresh and clean, very minimal um, aroma to these products. The Daily Defense Moisturizer. This has been, for years, one of my favorites. It was the only sunscreen that I used on my face. Um, this is really uh, just has a very light feel to it. It just has that transparent zinc in it. Now, this formula, you know that Image has changed all of their sunscreen formulas. So now all the new sunscreen formulas have been uh, created to, uh, to regulatory so that all the regular, they can sell in Europe as well as the United States and uh, they're, they're all up on all of their regs to, to pass with the SPF. So that's why they had to reformulate a lot of the sunscreens uh, to make them uh, standard throughout the world that they could sell them anywhere. Um, but this sunscreen has not been reformulated. They're probably going to, it does have some chemical sunscreen in it as well, um, but that's what makes it so light and makes it so transparent. But that's one of the things that they'll probably take out is that octinosate and that'll come out and we'll probably see a new formula of the MD in February next year. So for now, just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, I know a lot of people will be disappointed because it, it is such a fantastic sunscreen the way that it is. But on the other hand, we're just updating all the formulas so that they can be sold um, anywhere and they pass any of the regs throughout the world. So non-greasy, lightweight, plant-infused with stem cells, UVA, UVB, of course, um, and those antioxidants are fighting those free radical damage. It does have the ferment extract that protects against the blue light-induced damage that can be caused by your digital devices, like your laptops, your phones, uh, your TV. They, they all emit blue light. And that blue light they have found to break down and age the skin. So this formula also has that age defense in it as well. So UVA, UVB, and the, uh, and the blue light inhibitor. The Restoring Youth Repair Cream. This is used at night, so you'd cleanse your skin and use this product. Again, beautiful light formula. These all just disappear into your skin. They feel fantastic. They're very firming to the skin. You also have a combination of glycolic acids as well as retinols together and your kojic acid as a skin brightener. So that's why you have everything that you need to prep with is all in this basic core box of four products. Now, of course you can buy them separately as well but this would be considered your night cream to keep the skin smooth and youthful, even the skin out, tighten and firm. So that was your core products. So moving on to additional products, this Restoring Retinol Booster, amazing, hands down one of my favorite products. If you want to wake up feeling the softest, smoothest skin ever, then you need to use this product. Um, 
It can be used two or three times a week. You could add it into the regime. You know, you're, you're professionals. You're going to use your common sense. You're going to use your professional judgment and know when to use this and when not to use this, um, how, you, how you want to uh, change the condition of the skin based on the skin condition. So if you have someone that has a thicker over keratinized skin you're, or you're on a mission, you're really working on something and you want to add more retinols, you can certainly add this booster. Use your core products, use the retinol cream at night and then put this over top. That's really gonna be an intense boost. Or if you don't want to use the retinol cream, you could use this by itself. So either way, that's your professional judgment. Once you understand the products and you, you decide how you wanna use them and what's best for your client. But these can be used in a lot of different ways. Like all image products, you can mix and match. But this is a fantastic booster to use two or three times a week. So this has a beautiful blend. It has your retinol, your retinol A, which reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles. But it's in this beautiful oil base and you have moringa and sea buckthorn oils, avocado, um, all these beautiful oils, botanical oils. And it's so conditioning and hydrating to the skin at the same time but it definitely gives you an incredible boost. So with this serum, relatively speaking, you're, you're, you know, you're, you've got a nice, a nice boost there. That's probably the strongest one. The retinol cream, this is another one that you could use in addition if you wanted to use it over top of the repair cream, or as somebody's finished out the repair cream, you could use this in place of it. Um, if you used it on top, I'm, you know, we're, we're talking about some serious, you know, you're on a mission and, you know, everybody's on board and this is what you're doing. Um, but you may have to adjust it or you can not use your core product, the repair cream, and just step someone up to this after they've done the first, uh, you know, they finish that first product, then you can switch it out to this product. So you can use them in different ways. But again, retinol base, you have your palmitol tripeptide 5, which is your biomimicking peptide that supports collagen and elastin fibers in the skin and gives you that beautiful plumping effect. Kahai oil, which reduces the appearance of wrinkles. It helps with hydration and elasticity and firmness. So beautiful, beautiful cream that helps again to reduce Line, fine lines, wrinkles, even out the skin tone while revitalizing the skin. So this is a tremendous boost. The brightening cream is a hydroquinone, hydroquinone free. And this is an advanced brightening cream that evens out the skin, gives you this beautiful radiant glow to the skin. It reduces the uh, appearance of the dark spots. It leaves the skin luminous after just a few applications. Very similar to the Aluma Brightening Cream, which I think is a, a phenomenal product. I always suggest if anyone wants to really work on pigment, I would go straight to the cream. The cream is actually uh, higher concentrations and more effective. And really the only difference uh, between the Aluma formulation and this MD formulation is the delivery systems. You have that advanced technology in the delivery system, so it's going to be penetrating a little deeper and you're going to get a little higher concentrations uh, of those active ingredients into the skin. The Recovery Eye Gel, this is a big favorite. A lot of people love this. It has the collagen, the, it's marine-based collagen. So that helps to plump the skin, helps to hold moisture into the skin. And it has the palmitol tripeptide 5, which is also a biomimicking peptide that supports collagen and elastin in the skin while giving it that plumping effect. And of course, the apple stem cells to nourish the skin, helps with puffiness, dark circles, gives that beautiful hydration to the skin. 
It does have a little uh, retinol palmitate, very small amount, but uh, so you, you've got all the different factors to really give you the ultimate eye cream. The overnight retinol mask, again, very similar to the total retinol uh, overnight mask. It's going to leave the skin incredibly hydrated, but this does have the marine spheres. So that those uh, microspheres of marine collagen go into the skin, they release hydration, they plump out the skin, the skin gets just this beautiful, plump, soft, smooth glow the next day. So it's brightening, it's firming, and, and improving the overall condition of the skin. And like all of your overnight masks, you just use this on a clean skin. You're not applying serums and then putting this over top and all of that. Um, I would just use this straight up on the skin. Post-treatment mask. Another incredibly soothing, cooling, has a beautiful cooling effect to the skin. It has the acetyl dipeptide one that causes that cooling sensation. Um, as aloe, organic aloe, cucumber, pomegranate extract, so tons of antioxidants. It has the copper PCA that helps to reduce lines and wrinkles and discoloration in the skin. But this is just a, a beautiful healing mask, great for after microderm, after dermaplaning, after peels, laser, procedures, uh, nanofusion. It's just a beautiful mask to calm and soothe the skin. And your lip enhancements, some of you have already been able to try the Ronart MD lip. And the deciding factors between, you know, you've got your hermetic, which is all organic, but these, this ingredient is quite different from the hermetic. A lot of the similar, you know, with the biopeptide CL and the hyaluronic acid, but you also have the microspheres, the marine collagen that, that go into the lips, help to plump the lips up with that beautiful hydration. And this also has the palmitol tripeptide, to stimulate collagen, and of course, the SPF. Now these are the chemical SPFs um, that help to protect the lips from the UVA and the UVB. But great for after injectables. Just anytime somebody wants plumping, this, this really does work. This is just a different way of looking at it. I thought you might like this slide to show you know, you've probably already had your clients on the Ageless Total Repair Cream and the Ageless Total Overnight Mask. Those would be like an introductory. So if somebody's never used retinols before, this would be a nice way to introduce slowly, or if their skin's super sensitive and you're just not sure. Using these overnight masks two or three times a week can really be a great way to exercise their skin, get their skin in good condition, get them acclimated to using retinols. Then you would step it up to a moderate approach, would be using the overnight retinol mask from the MD, the, o, the MD repair cream, or the ageless total retinol A cream. So they would all be sort of on the same level. And then you would step it up again to your advanced formulas. So now you're really stepping up the retinols with your MD retinol cream and your Restoring Retinol Booster. The clinical review. You can find all these clinical studies on the MD, or on the image website. And you just go into resources and clinical studies and you'll be able to find uh, all of these resources for you. So I'm not gonna bore you to tears and read all of this, but um, you'll be able to see some of the clinical studies. And the way that they've collected the data, this is probably a good question to ask some of these companies too, like how was that data collected? Uh, what are you actually measuring? So this will give you examples of what they used, how they did it. 
and third, it's third party clinical data that's not just done by the image company. This was actually farmed out to a third party to do all of the tests. And they use different types of equipment too, like the coronometer. It's good to know what, what they've used that helps to um, see this, the difference in the skin, the hydration in the skin. The cutometer has also been used to measure skin elasticity. And the Vastro is another unit that's used to measure the lines and wrinkles. And then of course, the clients and how they felt, their, their responses to using the products were super favorable. And then you've got some before and after. So some of these clinical studies were done after four weeks. You can see the differences in before and after. And this was with the Vizia. You can see, you know, the Vizia counts every single pore, every single wrinkle. And you can see here the concentration of lines and the number of lines. And then afterwards, after using the uh, product, oops, you can see, oh, went the wrong way, that you don't have as many lines and wrinkles. So you can ask me about opening orders. And of course, you're going to find price lists on the website. And Image also has uh, some marketing materials. This is an, easy, an example of the easel back. And I'm sure there's going to be more as we go along, but I just wanted to make sure that you saw that, you know, these are all things that are available. You can find these online to help support you. The other thing is you can download. You can download off of the image website, uh, the manual, the MD manual is up there now. So you can go ahead, go into the image, your, log into your professional site and go to resources, tab and then under the resource tab scroll down you'll see the regular image manual and then there'll be the image md manual so go ahead and download that and save that for your records and that'll give you a review of all the features the benefits and all the ingredients in the product so again i'm here for you uh, you know i i just love this business i, I love helping people expand their businesses and if there's any way I know right now over the last few months with this pandemic we've all had to shift and pivot and um, you know online is becoming very big and that's really the my accounts that were able to survive were the ones that were able to communicate through social media communicate online offer retail sales and 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 kits facial kits and things like this for the clients at home and it's a huge part of our business and that is our future and and it's it's going to continue to grow even more so you know clients love the convenience they're finding that they they love the fact that they can go on to your website and do virtual consults and to be able to purchase products so any way that i can help you in making that transition we have tons of resources and tons of help for you to go um, online and become a virtual spa. So I'm very grateful for your time. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon.